Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we will be learning about Azure Cost Management. As you can see, Azure Cost Management can be integrated or can be directly viewed from Microsoft Azure portal, uh, a consolidated view of all your spending. And you can analyze the cost and also you can set up the cost alerts and your budgeting also. So you can see here what resources are actually costing and if you see here the blue ones are coming as the Azure but not the uh, the other light blue ones coming from the AWS. So you might be you know, wondering why I'm able to you know see AWS and Azure. So Azure cost management is a, a product uh, from third party later point Microsoft has acquired that company and they can actually view or they can show you the cost of uh, of any of the as you uh, any of the cloud services for example it could be Google or it could be AWS or Azure so you can view directly from one single uh, dashboard so that's the advantage uh, having Azure cost management and I'm gonna show you that in a minute uh, by a portal so this is the portal uh, where you can go to the Azure dashboard and then you can go to the cost management and billing and if you have not yet enabled your building you can actually enable this uh, by going for a try uh, preview as I said it's a uh, owned by another company called uh, Cloudion and this has been acquired by Microsoft recently and they are trying to integrate all the features that they own uh, normally this is a completely a different portal you need to you know uh, sign up and then you need to create your account and you can integrate Google's um, Google's a Google's cloud or maybe AWS cloud or Azure cloud in one place and you can view them uh, at one single dashboard but in our case uh, since we are using the Microsoft Azure you can actually view from here uh, if you want to you know try preview you can go to the portal and then sign up uh, for the uh, free trial and then it would actually gives you the uh, trial option so that way actually you would be you know getting this option so once you have enabled this you can you know go for the cost analysis uh, of uh, what kind of benchmarks you want to uh, select it or what kind of a trend what kind of alerts are coming up so we did have uh, shown you in the different uh, PPT here about the costing I did not enable here much but you know you would be you know, getting a normal cost here so here it would tell about the not the current and forecasting also will be there so if you see here the next month I'm gonna you know, uh, cost on 2.87 K in INR which is going to be you no know, costed for me and the current uh, starting credit of this this is my balance and I'm gonna you know uh, paid as this uh, in the future so and you can you know explore more on your uh, spendings let me show you here how you can analyze the cost analysis. If I just go here, you have a total of five different pillars where you can filter out based on these. For example, I wanted to view for accumulated cost uh, of the trend. Uh, you can get that information uh, in this format and you see here it's gonna actually spend spending is here currently as in Feb 9th, but it can reach by Feb 29th of this month to this and I would be ending up uh, charge for 2435 INR so that's a forecast of your uh, pricing if the services are currently turned on in this same state and you can filter um, here uh, again to just get the more information on specific services also so let me go back here once again to the uh, cost by resource so this would gives me the information about the resource by cost so you see here my public IP is getting costed for me around uh, 12.87 uh, which is the my uh, local currency cost similarly here uh, my software files which are stored in a blob project uh, which is costing me 230 rupees in INR so these are the information I can get it and this information I can feel free to export the way I want it so I'm just you know comparing for the last three months cost by services so this would uh, gives me a bar chart kind of thing which talks about uh, sorry the pie chart it's coming up looks like but uh, uh, you would be getting the exact information of for the last three months so you can filter here based on the chart the way you want it the chart from the last three invoices so you can filter here 
and see here what's happening for the SQL database. I got charged. One of the services I have charged, so it is actually showing me the cost specific things. So it is also charging me based on my resource group. So this is for any specific resource group and other tutorials which I use within this course are charge me. This is the amount and also I can go for one more view which I can show you here a daily cost invoice details. So this would talks about monthly invoice cost. You see here my uh, P10 disk has costed. This is a cost. So you get the cost analysis can be done directly from here. So that's the advantage of uh, using the cost management tool. And also you can go for the budget. So when you talk about the budget, you can define what is the current budget you want to uh, configure for your monthly. So this is the amount I want you to put as a threshold, not to go beyond that uh, threshold because we never know uh, what kind of a budget may come if somebody has spent up more resources so you can, it will actually show you from the last few months uh, because you know based on my filters here you see here uh, in the month of october i spent more close to seven thousand bucks and uh, i can set up you know some kind of a you know, budget so the budget ideal budget would be the six thousand which should be a good budget because i'm not crossing anywhere if i can you know of average of all these months so I can set an um, budgeting uh, budgeting here so that it's not gonna um, cross that budget. Uh, if that is the case, it's gonna call as a threshold. And you can also set the alerts like costing alerts. You can you know configure for your subscriptions. Uh, if this uh, specific budgeting scoping uh, of this specific subscription, if it is going for close to six thousand, it would actually trigger for you uh, as an alert for you. So so that you would be aware of what's going on so that's the option so you also have the azure recommendations as i said in the previous lecture where you can save some kind of a you know, cost uh, by resizing your vms or maybe you can applying the shutdown option so that you can save the cost also so this would give you more option but in my case currently i followed all the uh, recommendations so i don't see anything but um, if you have any of the resources that's not following a standard, it would actually give you the more. And also, as I said, you know, CloudN is a third party which was acquired by Microsoft, and uh, slowly they are integrating all the cost specific features which used to be get it from the CloudN is integrated into the cost management which is a cost management and billing options here you would be getting it so if you want you can um, go to this uh, ideal portal and from there also you can log in and check out check out your costings uh, and coming back to the billing or the documentation so the coming back to the enrollment we talked about the enrollment management and subscriptions all that uh, possible information also we can schedule it we can export these uh, reports automatically to come up for us uh, based on the cost analysis and also oh, we talked about the optimizing the cost uses of the recommendation from Azure advisor uh, in the previous lecture also even within this lecture we cover a little bit on that coming back for the cost management uh, and billing specific pricing uh, which is almost free for Microsoft Azure but if you are trying to use for uh, Google Cloud or maybe AWS in that situation it's gonna charge you close to one percentage of your total bill if your bill is low then it would be you're uh, really getting a lower cost but what if your uh, bill is generating in a millions you have to pay for one percentage of that cost so let me show you within the calculator I just added here uh, and you see here cost management for the building. So whatever the as you're spending per month uh, It's actually calculating with the zero. That means you're not going to charge for anything But if that's the case with the AWS or Google Cloud platform uh, For example, you want to have a single view of three different cloud spendings Then you might have to use this kind of you know scenario uh, To view the cost management option from Microsoft Azure in that situation you would be ending up paying of one percentage of total cost for example here whatever the cost it's coming for that you're gonna pay for that cost so that's how you're gonna charge for it I hope this is useful for you thank you for watching this